G'day all, Mike here. I'm uh, just running a little experiment with my um, bar sized freezer, uh, a battery, and this inverter that I've bought recently, which happens to be a charger as well. That comes from Giant L, and you can see the specs there. So it runs on 12 volts, puts out 240 volts AC. So this is in Australia. Um, and it's capable of uh, charging at 25 or 55 amps. I've got it set up at um, to charge at 25 amps at the moment, and it's just it's just uh, fully charged the battery that I've got there, and that's what that green light means there. Um, that green light shows that the battery's uh, fully charged, and I've got a little voltmeter. Um, so that you can easily see, or that I can easily see what the current voltage is. It's that little, um, right down the bottom there, that that, um, that figure down there, so it's 13.39 volts, fully charged. The battery that I've got is a fairly heavy duty uh, hybrid battery, um, which uh, is intended to be a deep cycle battery as well as a start battery. But this this particular battery, I think, has been a little damaged. It doesn't seem to hold a load very well. But never mind, let's see what happens. Um, and uh, as, as I mentioned there before, this uh, this inverter is actually in charge mode at the moment. It's putting about 600 uh, milliamps into this battery, just trickle charging it there. And um, the inverter, um, because it's a charger, also has a power cord here, as you can see, which goes up to um, to my power board up there. Um, you may also have noticed that there's a um, another cable here which I've just rigged up because these inverters really do need an earth so that I'm just using um, the earth cable there and plugging that into the power board as well so that's earth to ground through the house okay so um, that's the setup and uh, now I'm going to see if this will run my freezer Okay, so I've, I've made sure that my freezer actually needs to run. So um, as soon as we plug it in, it'll actually start running and put a load on um, the inverter or, or, the, or the battery through the inverter. However, because this is a charging inverter, um, what's really cool about this is if the inverter happens to be connected to 240 volt power, and I plug this this freezer in here, so I'll do that. You might not be able to hear, but that freezer just started running. What you will notice is that the battery is actually not taking a load at all. If you could see the, um, the ammeter over there, this inverter is still charging, trickle charging that battery. The battery is not powering the freezer. What's actually happening is that 240 volt power from the house is actually going straight through the inverter and out into the freezer uh, power supply here. So, so at the moment that inverter is doing double duty um, to trickle charge the battery as well as power the freezer. What's cool is that if I cut 240 volt power to the inverter, that will switch over and then use battery power to power the freezer, acting as an uninterruptible power supply. Which is, which is pretty cool. So um, that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so that's the power so, uh, switch there for the inverter. So I'll just turn that off. And as I turn it off, we have a look at this ammeter here, which is showing a trickle charge. Let's just say, you can see that it's negative here. So the way that it's, um, the way that it's oriented is it's saying that power is uh, not going into the inverter, power is going out of the inverter. Or the charger into the battery, right? So that's what that little negative sign means. Now, watch what happens when I um, when I flick this the switch 240 volt switch to off. Okay, so now that um, battery is supplying eight amps of power into the inverter, and you may have heard a click sound there, and the inverter now um, is functioning as an inverter, which is indicated by this green light here. And the, I don't know if you can hear it, but the freezer didn't skip a beat. What I'd like to know, of course, is um, how quickly that actually changed over. According to the specs, it's 
less than um, 10 milliseconds, so quite quite fast. So that would be um, suitable, you know, to keep a computer going, a desktop computer. Now I'm just monitoring the voltage in the battery and I can see that it's kind of holding 12.55 volts, 12.5453. So um, that's draining steadily. Um, and uh, it dropped about a, it dropped about an entire volt as soon as the uh, uh, the freezer sorry as soon as the uh, the inverter went over to inverter mode from charger mode, um, and that's kind of consistent with eight amps coming out eight amps at uh, twelve volts so it's nearly nearly uh, you know a hundred hundred watts of power going out. So this little freezer is using about 100 watts of power, possibly a bit more, um, maybe 5 or 10% losses through the inverter. And so now if I turn the power back on again, so here. Okay, so the cooling fans kick in. And as you can see, that inverter's now gone into charge mode and it's putting 25 amps back into the battery. That's what that negative sign indicates there 20 19 amps 18 amps now and that will top the battery up again so basically that's how the uninterruptible power supply works power goes off the battery takes the load power comes back on the inverter goes back into charge mode and tops the uh, battery back up again so if the battery is of sufficient capacity this setup will ensure that a fridge or a freezer um, should run for some time so this, uh, this battery nominally is 100 amp hours. In practice, it's only 50 amp hours. Um, so at uh, you know, something like 10 amps running, that should give you about five hours of operation. And this freezer, um, if it's already cold, obviously won't be running on a 100% duty cycle. So um, I figure that that will give me about seven hours on one battery for this little fridge. Fantastic. Very happy.